Hello Bocce fans, this is Tanner Petrie. I have put together a short video for the Burlington Bocce Club to help explain our rules about the foul lines. And we'll explain legal versus illegal throws. The Burlington Bocce Club's rules are based on the United States Bocce Federation's U.S. Open Rules. You can go to their website and download the Open Rules. I'll put links to everything in the description. Let's take a look now at the U.S. Bocce Federation's rules. They talk about foul lines in two different spots. The first one is a section called Foul Lines. It says that lines should be clearly marked both on the surface and the sideboards. We don't mark it on the surface, but I think maybe we should. It says there should only be one line for pointing and shooting, and they give a distance for that. Players may step on but not have their foot completely over the foul line before releasing the ball or the polino. The second section is on shooting and pointing. It talks about the two different types of shooting. And um, then it says down here, when a shooter, when shooting either style, the player is allowed to step on the line prior to releasing the ball. As long as even the heel is on the line, it is a valid shot. And then, once a player has released the ball, he or she is allowed to continue steps up to the center of the court. This is considered valid. The Burlington Bocce Club's rules actually say very little on the matter. We say that players may step on but not over the foul line before releasing the polino or their ball and then describes the penalty for doing so. There's also a section that says the tournament director may disallow volo shooting, which is throwing the ball past half court if they think it's not safe. Both sets of rules clearly state that your foot may be on the line but you can't step over the line until you release the ball. The act of a step is to pick up your foot and put your foot down, so as long as you let go of the ball before your foot touches the ground past the foul line, it's a valid throw. Here's an instructional video made by the Palazzo de Bocci in Lake Orion, Michigan. All sports athletes have various styles that they use to get the job done. I'll show you the basic fundamentals and techniques that I use for the three shots. You can have your foot behind the line, on the line, but not over the line. Foot lined up with the plino, right in my arm in front of my knee. I don't want to swing it to the side or in the middle. Keep it right in front. If I swing it to the side, I might swing over one way or the other so I can keep a nice straight line. This next set of clips comes from the World Bocce Championships in Rome, Italy. This is the Junior Championships of Hungary versus Germany. You can see how he gracefully rolls across the line as he throws the ball. And then this here is his competitor. And you'll see she does the same thing. She slides right over the line making sure her foot does not touch the ground until the ball is out of her hand. We'll throw in a few more rolls just for good measure. She has pushed her ball about a foot away but in front of the Polino. The ball is the Polino. Jenny has put herself in a little bit of a hole here. Jacob. So Jacob indicated the Volo. This is not an easy shot at all. Again. Um, she has said Bocci, so she's going to try to shoot the point ball. She got this next footage comes from the Stockton, California Italian American Club bocce courts. These bocce players are getting ready for the uh, United States Bocce Federation's National Championships. And let's watch them throw a little bit here.
This is a photo of Umberto Granaglia, widely considered to be the greatest bocce player that ever lived. So great, in fact, he had his own sports card. And here's a couple shots of him throwing in his iconic style. Classic. And here's a poster from the U.S. Bocce Championship, so you should be able to recognize that throwing style here. Uh, so we've gone across the U.S. and we've gone uh, around the world, and so now let's go digital um, and see bocce in a video game a form. There is a bocce video game, um, and there's two different ways th that you can throw the ball in this game. One is your irregular point shot, and then there is your Spock shot. You see he lets the ball go before he steps over the line and then continues over the line. And now let's take a look at what a line fought would look like and then some clips from our bocce club. So we're really looking for three things here. We're looking for is the foot on the line um, and then the second thing is does the ball come out of the hand third before the foot touches down um, past the line. And so in that case he did. Uh, in this case this is Tino Emanuel a young all-star um, and let's take a look at his throw here there the foot is touching the ground while the ball is still in his hand and he's well past that line so that to me is an illegal throw here's his father he's already stepped past the line the ball is still in his hand and so I would count that as a legal throw and what's one more hop for good measure um, this guy here is gonna get his shot and there his foot touches down past the line before the ball comes out of his hand that is a fault. This guy um, has a much better approach. He lets go of the ball before his foot touches down past the line. That would be a legal throw. This guy, not so much. Big plant way past the line and the ball still in his hand. That is an illegal throw. He's going to give it one more try here. Illegal. Shut it down. Uh, hey, Bill. And this is... Uh, Another throw here, let's see what he does. His foot's well past that line, the ball's still in his hand, that is a full-on foul. Now we're going to go to our bocce club and see what we got going on here. Here's an anonymous roller. Um, the ball is out of the hand and the foot has not touched down on the ground yet. Here the foot is just touching down but the ball is already well out of his hand. Another anonymous thrower here. Uh, foot above the ground, ball out of the hand. It's a little far off. Let's see if we can enhance. There we go. The ball's out of the hand. The foot has not touched down on the ground yet. That is a legal throw. Here's another one. The ball is out of the hand and the foot has not touched down past the foul line yet. That is a legal throw. Here's another one. The foot is on the line. The front foot is off the ground and the ball is out of the hand. That's a legal throw. Uh, plant foot is on the ground. Active foot is off the ground, and the ball is out of the hand. It's a legal throw. Here's another version of the same thing here. And we have one video clip of uh, a bocce player here. Let's take a look. Ball's out of the hand. Foot is still off the ground. It's a legal throw. So that's all the examples we have for you here today. I hope that was uh, informative and helpful for you. And if you have questions, just let us know. Um, thank you. Take care. Bye.